Tell me, Pierre, you're more better now, MJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? All right. Yeah, I hear you. I say, MJ, what really you admire about your music <laughs> is like, you say you're nine year old, right? Yeah. As a nine year old youth, you actually have played better quality music than most of the youth them as new aqua represent dancer. Cause me go enough event, I'm gonna watch enough event, and some man would have never play two of them rhythm the way you just play a while ago. In a prime time, them afraid, them don't know how to do it. Them now have the courage to play one sweep over my soul or one Babylon I listen from near or far. You understand? I just to shoot me, I tell you. I me sit down, I'm gonna watch it, I me see some big event like over the the the, 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 the end of year, the end of 22, going into 23, some big event keep. I me I watch multiple selectors at work, and them now understand say, it's a mass mixed crowd, and you have to bring forth the people their mind from whence the music came to where it is now. Them just jump up and in a regular them and some song when it makes sense in the audience there. Let me tell you all oh, me, you know, MJ, as a legend. You see, me and your friend MJ, and you, you have a song when me a fight with, say me I promote this song, I want it to become a hit. But me get certain events. You cannot expect me to play this song at this event because the song don't do the work yet for reach this. You understand? Some man I try to please them bridging and I play that song in our audience where the world telescope are looking away and fit this yet. And it's actually poisoning the, the audience mind to the product. So you see, you as a, as a youth, nine years old, with a mindset yeah, to play them kind of music, I kind of the first me I listen to and the second or the third, and you always a play real music. So I appreciate that and I am give you a stripe for that as a, as a moody call this next generation card. It never reached your time yet. <laughs> you are nine year old. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's it, it really it's amazing. Time. No, it's amazing because you like you know, if you listen to some John some some John Lucas and some 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 different kind of artists. Can me have a son? Ocean and my son, them man that I listen, none of them something here where you play. Me so disappointed when I ask man, let me hear where you listen. Um, my next son, we are 15, him worse. When me ask the man, say, yo, hook up your phone to the radio and play where you listen to a daytime. MJ, me nearly dropped down, the man I play some Chinese song, not even English. The song that I go, oh, no, ching, long, too, la, ching. So be a Chinese something, I don't know. So me ask the man, say, ask the man, say, Biggs, do you know what they must say? He said, no, the rhythm just nice, and it's soothing, and it make him relax in mind. So, are you, like you know, I save our culture in the, both four extended generation, because you're just nine. So what you do is really needed. Mm. Thank you so much, Futa. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, man, I just the truth, man. I have to big up your old man. Because obviously, your old man. Ca me, me, me I talk to Lockett about this today. Oshan, when his mother pregnant with him, right? There's a particular song we used to play for her all the time. Song say, Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. And, you know? So, I play it at the baby shower when she walk in. What do you mean, my son, apart? And he play music. Another song they may play. And I say, Where you know about that song? Where do you get that song from? And I say, He just like it. He never remember how he ended up with the song. But it's in my long term memory. Because he may listen to that song from him in my mother's belly. So sometimes when people hear me talk, them now understand say life experience teach you certain things say you have to watch where you say watch where you infect your feet in them ears with watch where you talk around them even when you're just pregnant you understand much less when them come on so may have to big up your father to listen to the right type of music so you know 
come and I love them kind of music. You're not TV, you don't understand why. Because it's in a long-term memory. And you yeah, project it, the Almighty pick you for deal with it. So, I do like, it's a good thing for the culture and it's a good thing for music. You see me? Give thanks, give thanks, man. Ah, uh, the baby, yeah? Ah, uh, the baby, my little brother. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, even come round, yeah? Even before we are to the show. When, when I set up the sound and thing, when I look behind me, I see my little brother, and I, I, I say, bop, bop, because when we are playing the sound, <laughs> we always I say, bop, bop. So I'm coming yeah, around yeah. the sound and go, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, yeah, because you might learn. You see me? That's how much influences so when the, when when let me tell you something the problem with our music now mj um it starts with the the creators of the content right so like um me have to blame the producer them first where allow the artist them to sing certain things upon them rhythm then and then secondly me have to blame the selector them were freed to take a stance and not play certain content because they want cool with the artists are them not care about the future of the music. Now I've become an outcast in terms of artists I say them I'm a friend and them rate me because sometimes they get offended when me speak against them content or how them care themselves. But them now understand say just a long haul me I look on with youth like a NJ or a youth like my my son or Gaga's son or people where 10 years from now they're going to become the adults of tomorrow or 15 years of them will be the adults of tomorrow. So if we keep infecting them with the thing them where go against where we stand for, then the future, the next 15, 20 years, the adult they're going to just rotten and nana sense and then they're going to bring forth some other little picnic where worse are rotten. So we're going to deteriorate and go to zero. You understand? So them artists say we are preemie and them producers say we are preemie. Them now look for the long haul. Them just a look for today alone. And them now understand so the reason why it is still so. Ten years ago, the adult them was ten. Or ten years ago, the adult them was fifteen year old. Them are twenty-five now and twenty. And them are a baby and a working at the workplace them and do the adult things them but because of the negative impact in our music them become so negative so certain lewd behavior certain inappropriate behavior becomes appropriate now because of the influences that were instilled upon them 15 years ago you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so yeah, when you think yeah. god choose you now mj because remember you now you have to remember this as a juvenile. I'm going to keep this in your brain. You never ask God be your father, be your father. You never say to God, say, God, I want my father to be a selector and I'm going to come and love music. That wasn't your decision. Your father and mother never said to God, say, you know, so I have to get a son first. I'm I have to get a daughter at this time. No, God decided that. And God navigate your soul to your parents' environment. So you born in an environment where your father is a lover of good music because the Almighty didn't know what he want you to come do in the world. So because mm. he knew what he want you to know, he must place you in the environment. That's so you were navigated to your father because of what your father stands for and like within the musical realm. So that you can come deliver it to your age group and the people of your time. Because it's beyond your father and my time. If, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's a transition of great music from our time to your time. You are living in a nine-year-old realm. You are going to have some nine-year-old and eight-year-old fans where we not have. Because we not sing Baby Shark and them something there. We not know that we deal with. So, some people will love Baby Shark. I got to admire NJ because them are NJ are same age. And NJ is a talented, but NJ is playing dance all and reggae. So now, all of your peers, them NJ, we're only used to the, the, the YouTube kids sang them and the internet kids sang them. 
them are going to end up like some of where you are playing now. So them are going to end up like dancehall from a young tender age. And them are going to like, somebody please tell me now, oh my sagad world I run. And those songs have reality and sensible messages. So at nine year old, you are in fact the next generation of adult with positive energy, positive lyrics and positive mindset. So by the time 10 years from now, your nine-year-old peers then be 19. They are going to be the teenagers with the memory of how oh, Master God World are run in a them head riveted because NJ did make them fall in love with them song. Yeah. So they might go on relate to what them song they are say all do the song are 25, 30 years old ahead of them. You get what I say, my G? Yeah, yeah, real talk, brother. That's why, that's why sometimes when daddy or me we get a dub play, then what we we'll say to the artist, them say, like say, thirty years to come now, the musical goes still the bad. So yeah, exactly, and and I don't think many of our nowadays radio. DJs and dancehall DJs understand the big responsibility of a selector. I don't think them fully grasp it. It's not just about making money. We are responsible for filtering the music for the next generation of adults. Now, me I talked to a producer yesterday, and I'm saying, bro, before it reached to the DJ, before NJ gets a song, before Futa Hype gets a song, before any DJ who is filtering the music out there gets the music, it has to be governed by the producer. Once they hear the artist say certain things in the song, stop and tell him, say, listen, bro, you're an artist. Find ways and metaphor if you curve that. You still can't say what you want to say. If it's, a, if it's something freaky you want to say, curve it. See, remember General them used to say, there's a girl living in the neighborhood and him call her sweetie, come brush me. A different thing in my talk. You understand? Remember Barry said, girl, your man in life, I'll surely take a bite. Oh, my body's calling. I got the need for you tonight. So it's different words you use. You cannot say the same exact thing. See, remember when, when them singers say, Girl, I want to love you up and down until you say stop. I don't love them attack. It's actually sex them attack. But them use different words to, to, to set the mindset. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not so blatant. So if you're an adult, you're not going to read between. Look up it, you're not going to read between the line there if you understand what I'm saying. But mm -hmm. when you say it out, Blatant and raw and nasty, so the people them lose it now and want to practice that at a nine year old age of hear a song. So, me really think that so you, as a juvenile, when a TV reach your teenage years and make such a great impact, I'm actually proud of you. I'm proud of your parents. Because we have to give people them flowers while they're still there, you know. I'm yeah. proud of you. I'm proud of your parents. Thank you understand me, okay? Because, okay. all right. You yes, see, when me see you, I do this at nine. It made me reflect upon myself. My father would have killed me so if he go learn a trade, right? My father was a selector, right? But in the ghetto, wait, music... Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm... I made it do an interview, you know. <laughs> but you are going to some of my questions, them. <laughs> All right, my boss, you deal with it. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but before we start, I have a gift. I have a gift. Before, before we get in, in a, this, some of the reasoning, right. I, let's play a little game. So I have a little game to play with you. So... It's called Guess the Song and Rhythm. So you know how you are a producer slash right. DJ slash artist? Yeah. 
We are going I'm gonna play two of your songs and then I'm gonna play three of your them the way you produce. Alright. <laughs> remember say so, remember say me I right get four things and NJ, so see with me a little bit, please. Nobody beat me too bad. Okay, so first this one. Me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. That that is gully creature, gully creature. <laughs> yes, you're fine. You're fine. I got that go. Yeah, that one there gully creature. That are the, that are the, that are actually the biggest rhythm I produce so far in our production career. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. A big rhythm. And people, if you never know how Futa I produced a big rhythm there. And it bad. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, next one. Keep let's look around. Okay. The rhythm the name Sax on the Beach. That um you more than one you do for me, NJ. My song Panda Rhythm that you can play it for me because I don't fully remember the lyrics. Remember me and a DJ and I just DJ the song cause me feel a vibe when me did hear the rhythm and me go record to the left side of Esco. It's called Socks on the Beach. Um NJ, boss me, give me a give me a little highlight. Keep left look around. <laughs> yeah, man. Bad, bad, bad. Yo, NJ, the second person we keep doing when I say, Jelly Sassia Pizza. Yo, I'm me right, my song, Tina NJ. Remember, man. people, if you had never know, that is a footer hype song. So don't know. <laughs> anyway, next thing. Watch out. Next one. Minute you hear that yet, NJ. You stop it too quick, minute you hear that. <laughs> That's how the game. You need me need to play it quick and then you have to get. Yeah, but minute you hear nothing at all yet. Is yes, that okay? May I go may I go play another way? Oh, okay. That a success story. That a um, motherland reading. Yeah. Yes, you're fine. You're and fine. I read him there now. I read him there now. Big up Nesbeth. Um, I read him the big uh, Africa. Uh, me name it motherland for a reason, you know. NJ, more you pay attention to me. Read him name them, you know. First one, I play a gully creature. Because I am from the gully. I'm from Cassava Peace. Me boss before Movado. Me are the gully giant. Zin and me put the gully upon the map. And then Movado put it upon the globe. You understand me? I say so. Me name, me read him them. All I'm reading them name have meaning. Me not just get up and name read him because me just want name read it. So gully creature was me identifying myself and representing for where me come from and my struggle as a as a as a serious youth where goofy way more believing and carry the whole team with me. So me, that's why I name myself Gully Creature, come in a fight and war and go hard to put my place on the map. You understand me I say? Yeah. Motherland yes, reading yes. now. Motherland reading where you just a here when me a transition now. I may a try for people understand say we are from Africa. And Africa is the greatest place on earth. And everything else exists because of Africa. So my name the rhythm, Motherland. And my build it off of the Naya Bingi Ada Jump. You know Naya Bingi 1, 2? Like how you have Kete Jump? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 
I eat my billet off and vice. Be a positive song. It was fully bad. First reality song. Javinci have a God song on it. I act here have a, have a, have a God song on it. Nesbeth have a, have, a, have a reality song. We inspire you to work hard and believe in yourself. Me give you money to Mobile High School. We have a challenge on the song. I give you 50000 to Mobile High School. Nobody not talk about them great things that we do. They want to speak of when put a talk. Something where them I try I them talk about that, but them not talk about the real something them enjoy. Mm -hmm. We've been at the inspiring works and positive works, you see me? So that's why me I try to show them a different time to put a no. Right. No. Right. And not to them say, you know, a lot of them say them a lot of them I said say them do no say you do songs and do you you sing songs and produce music. And yeah. So me just wanna show them Say Futa is a more, more like say multitasked person. Yes, multitasked person. Thank you very much for the highlight, my boss. Mm. Respect. Next, sir. Next one. <laughs> ha. Yeah, that a that a dark night with him. That a dark yes, night with him. Fine, yeah, that a dark that night with him. Aye. Yeah, man. Thank you. And thanks for the person who buy my you know. Big up. Yeah, yeah big up Shout everybody. Out, big up him. Send. And okay, last one. <laughs> that a 99 problems, you know. That I'm in a big song, you know. That I win. That I win the big breakup go on. I want you to play that one for me to enjoy. Please, I don't want to take over your show, but I want them hear my lyrical versatility and hear how I can write on them something there. Please, my boss. Boss, me a big boss, my boss. Okay, and by the way, I want to tell the people when this um, song was released, this song was released. This month, but 2015, people. Yes. This is how long I did it. Now we're in 2023. That was 2015. How long I did it and I do them something. Yeah. yeah. Ready. What am I saying? He's not a rubbish man. He must be mad. <laughs> Some boy with locks for the trim. Them a lick down the girl them like ice cream from crazy gym. Hey, Marcus, what do you want to check the I trim? I got 99 from the motor girl ain't one. From me, I be a mini, the motor girl, me slam. If it's a cookie, if it's a roast, me not gun yam. Me not eat too much, me not a fum fum yam. I got 99 from the motor girl. Oh, oh. But I have this up, the license for some song. <laughs> Yo! Chubby, chubby. <laughs> Big up Marcus and Buju Son. Buju Son produced that song, the Marcus Records. Jesse, big him up. Yeah. Big up Marcus mm -hmm. Records. Don't know. So that mm -hmm. is the end of the game. I think um I think it was about say um how much I played one, two, three, four, five songs. So I think it was um five rhythm and song. So I feel like it was not a draw. I think Futa had won that one, but the foot I got one point because remember Futa had took two guests for one rhythm, so, so <laughs> it was yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, no. let's get into it. So, so born as O'Neill Thomas went to yeah. Calabar School, high school. Yeah. Yes. So. So you could um You brother what? So you could have run? No no no, I wasn't a track star. I'm not good at running, I stand up and fight. I'm not good I at running. Track star go color by you know. Yeah, but um you have um smart people. Yeah, have Calabar is multifaceted, like them have good basketball players, them have good footballers, them have good track star. But me my past come and entrance and go there, like, me a celebrity long time, because in my area now, when you pass the color bar, 
a top school, your grades are for high. And then at them time the NJ you wouldn't know still, but your name come out in the gleaner. So it was a big hype when you pass common entrance and everybody go by a gleaner and your name print. Your parents proud because your name print in the national paper. So I don't wanna I don't wanna really show off, but my mom my mom was on the paper at the same <laughs> year when you when <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so from them time, they're famous in my place, you know, as Bright Boy, Star, you know, Bright Boy. Yeah, so you are the smart one then? Smart one. Smart, smart. All right. So, what was O'Neill like at school? Um, School was learning and survival at the same time i my mother wasn't somebody who financially on top of her game my father hustler my father a selector and my father used to make rasta belt rasta hat and tam and them thing there my father used to carry me go reggae sun splash and them place the them be show and them thing up on the bike because he used to sell Rasta B, them time there, them kind of clothes, you know, wooly. People used to make clothes, tailor and dressmaker used to big. And then, them never run down the bag of gold. Them time the apartheid was being fought in Africa. So them used to have the ANC chain, them make out a letter, the African map, they make out a letter, red, gold and green ring, you know. Um, Nelson Mandela pendant, make out a letter. So my father was a, a craftsman at that. So when sun splash and them thing they not keep and there's no events, my father used to fall short for money. So our standard of living used to fluctuate. By the time me start go calabar, my mother and my father have um you know them personal issues cause my father a top gallist. My father may have like twenty at brother and sister, you know. See? So yeah. my mother and my father break up. So me move from over the side of cassava piece and I live over the other side of cassava piece. So my at some point, my mother never used to have lunch money if you give me some time. So she used to do now, she used to give me taffy. Some sweet in them used to name taffy. So me used to get all three bag of taffy figure sell at school. I have no bus fare, no lunch money, nothing. Zero dollar. Only thing me have the taffy them. So I forgot school, sell the sweet to them, and then get lunch money from it and still not spend half the profit. So if I want a, a bully beef sandwich with cornbread, I can't buy that. I have to buy the cornbread and just butter because I still have to have profit to go back to shop. So mm. there was even a day when we have some class session and then it will get close to lunchtime and then I not sell nothing yet. So me paranoid now because lunchtime I come up and I don't have no money. So there's a session of the teacher late, and me have to go in on my brain and be smart. So me there, I think, and me say, oh, me I go find lunch today. Oh, me I go eat. Nobody now buy nothing. So Horace Clark, a politician, his son was in my class. Couple rich people in my class. So me, I have to go in and pull a bag of taffy now, calculate the profit where, where me for make half if the bag sell off. Go in at the profit. So me take all three taffy out of the bag, I say, yo, a customer appreciation day. Then I wonder what I talk about. So I fling the tree taffy in the sky and scramble them. So you know, so everybody has scrambled feet, excitement. So they look a rich kid, them now like that. So them start buying out to do the same thing with me just do. I saw me sell off the sweet to them. Me have to sacrifice three of the sweet to them just in order to get the sale start. I saw me could have lunch a day. So me always know I get in a trouble because me I do things were against the school rule. You understand what I'm saying? Based just for me surviving, you know, I had a bad record at school. But them no know say what me I do are basically survival. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So one morning, I think with the wind champs and them have the, the, the devotion in the auditorium. So every class line up. The the principal, the old boy, them, everybody up on the stage. But me in the in the in the in the devotion. And everybody know me have the goods and me have the sweet to them and the something them. So be a people are buy. So me I walk through the line them now and I sell the sweet to them. Cause 
business good in a man in a sweet yourself. Me can't make sure them up there so I preach and I do what them I do. Me not make my money in idea. You know them catch me, right? You know them carry me up on the podium, right? In front of every old boy, every liar, every judge, every politician. You know me get kicked out of school, right? Come yeah, rap sheet, my rap sheet start. Skills, no. Yeah, them kick me out of school. So me is a me is a job out, you know. Uh. Me is me is somebody who never get to do a CXC, you know. Come a job out uh. of school because my rap sheet is too tall with too much different reports and occurrence. Me get suspended too much time, and them say them can't go no more with me. All because a survival. Me wasn't uh. a done suit. I wasn't a stupid person, and I like me not do good in my school, work, but I have to survive. You understand me? I say sometimes the taffy money when me sell, go home and buy some rice, buy some mackerel or sardine or sometimes I just the rice and the butter alone. But I that money there, I take care of the house because we have teeth in light, we have teeth in water. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So it's deep. Wow, wow. Mm. Wow, wow. That is a is a is a whole heap of story, man. A whole heap me you. The other side of foot of this, people. People in the air. And you are entering. I wish my father did see the vision like how your father see the vision. Cause I think it's mostly in the poor wait, community. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm gonna um ask you a question. As you said, your father was a DJ, and so we're gonna start talking more about your father. So your father was a DJ. Um, yeah. Your dad was a DJ. You said that. Mhm. Mm he was a selector on a sound right. system called Singleton Sound System. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Was you Yo, enjoy the Yes. 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 <laughs> People think because I'm a DJ, them always I think I'm not do book, I'm not go to school, but I have to do them thing there, you know. I have yeah, to do them thing there. It make you sharper Otherwise, as an intellectual yeah. DJ. Mm -hmm, mm. So I did my research. Yeah, man. So yeah, so what was the question again, MJ? MJ? Yeah. Was there a natural talent? I guess yeah. that's where you develop some of your craft, right? Yeah, because it's a merge between my mother's DNA and my father's um musical talent. Because my mother is verse and roasting people. My mother, where you call roast, we call card in a Jamaica. So. In a Yankee world, them call it roasting, right? So my father loved music. My father, my barn and see sound in my yard. My father had only him own sound. And then my father always had the big tape or the big components. But my mother, skillful with the carding thing. My mother would kill her with carding. You can't tell her nothing to flap her. So I kind of get that from she as well. So it's a merge between both of them. I wouldn't give my father alone the props and I wouldn't give my mother alone the props. It's a combination. That's why even in life, everything in life is projected with male and female. Like, if you have your finger, right, and you have a ring, you have to put your finger into the ring. If you're going to plug in your laptop, you use the, 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 the plug part of the, the laptop and plug in a female adapter. It don't change. If you open the car door, you come and sit inside the car. Everything in life is based off a of male and female, in and out. You know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. Um, so next question you started playing a sound system on Twilight Sound System, is that right? Yeah, yeah, my boss. No, I was then, telling them something at NJ. <laughs> me do my research when I come in my outfit, do everything you know, research, do the question, them it's all me, so, yeah. Me like that. And me then like after that. that, I don't know the reason why, but you then moved to Melody One sound system. Melody yeah. and also Melody One um 
Melody One was it owned by Leroy Sibbles? Yeah, Leroy Sibbles from the Eptones, a legend. Yeah, he was the yeah. owner of that song. That was like kind of a transition from point A to point B. Because when you hear Twilight, it, we say it's a song, but it's actually two box and one turntable. So it's not like what you know a song to be. You understand know what I'm saying? It's a small little setup in a cassava piece. But because we were so dominant, we play everywhere. People know about a book, big song. Because the vibe and the energy where we are bring, the big song is not needed. You understand know what I'm saying? So big up blacks. He was my DJ at the time. He used to play the song them and me talk the song. You see me? And then Lira Sibyls fly down him song from Canada. And him there play on Alana. That one lady, one elder lady, she and my mother are friend, but she have a bar and she usually keeps stage show. So I was always fascinated with sound system. Like when I mm. see the big sound, then I want to go look more and check out the wire, then I want to look on the plugins more. You know, like when we used to live in between two sound yards, what they call land. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, two general in the land. Them used to call places where dance keep land them times. So you used to have sticky land up from my yard and then you have pepper land to the other side, to the opposite direction. So the big dance them used to be with Kilimanjaro, 4x4 Exodus, Metro Media them and, and some used to see Ninja Man them and Papa Sun them. We used to see all I star them because my yard there, like in the middle part between them two land here and them two land here keep the biggest dance them. So when me hear a new song around a Glen Drive now, I go look and I realize there's a big song from Farina and them have some plug in wire. So I go to the promoter lady because my success is not merely from people just a me therefore push myself. So when me um when me go sub so now and check the lady that Alana come in and the cool already. As I look at you, everybody in the community rate me. So we go to her and I say, yo, we can't get a run tonight and she said, say, I like tell um, Mr. Sibyls, man, because me and him good. Very, very, very. Um, she said, link me back a little more. I'll be at early end to tell the whole of my little bridge and then we'll play the little song with me and follow me up. Say, yo, we are going around there tonight, you know. And we go around there and I ask her what she said. And he said, yeah, man, talk to, to Mr. Sibyls. And we go to him and he said, yeah, man, anything you have, tell Tenny. That a volcano. I'm there over England now. I'm live over there with you now. That a volcano. And he said, yeah, man, I want to hear your thing. And we go over our son yard. Because it was right in front of our son yard. I'm going to go in there, take out a portion of the record, a handful of record where I feel like can dominate the place. You understand? And then me and Max go around the sun and we destroy the whole place. And Mr. Sibyl said, Who wants some selector, you know? Who wants you to come play the sun, you know? And Angel, I'm going to show you how my loyalty run from that, that small stage. Yeah. When him say, Ma, I can play the song. When I connect back with him and I tell him, say, listen, I'm willing to come play the song, you know, but I know me alone. And me and my team. Remember this time, me not make a dollar out of music yet, you know. Me not have no power for you to talk about team, you know. But me is just not a selfish person. So I said to him, say, yo, I'm me and my team. So my, tweet, my team that time, yeah, exists with me as the talker, Blacks as the mixer, Quick Cook. When you know a Quick Cook? You hear about Quick Cook? Quick Cook was our next talker. And then you have Gargan's son and him, Damien. Four are we. See? Damien only work was to punch in the bass and punch it out. Remember when I have that one? Oh, I look at son, you know. But Leroy Sibyl's son have the, 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 the EQ, you know, where you can take out the bass and you can press it here. Boom, 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 boom. You understand me? So, so, that, so Damien work was just to do that. Me and Quick Cook take turns in a talking for the vice projector. Blacks are the mixer. Money cars the man them for cut. The first man left the son, a quick cook. Same now, get no money and re, re, re. Gone. Damien follow slowly after because Damien say, him now get no money neither. Remember all Damien are doing now? I press the button for the bass and take it out. I'm going to say, yo, take out the bass. I'm going to say, I'm take out the bass. I said, me, yes. And him just feedback the beat. That's all he about doing now. And him acquired the same now, get the money now, they're gone. <laughs> so me, I get me, I walk yeah. into the story, NJ. Yeah. Zin? So, mm -hmm. and me and Black hey. Saloon left on the sun now. 
So, when originally you told the the son named Yaga from up at Augustown Industrial Village, him teach me about bars. Because me never know nothing about bars. Me used to just chat, just chat over song, chat out chorus, chat out verse, chat out everything. Me just, because I have so much things to say. Me chat a bag of Sydney NJ. Crazy. So, him teach me about bar and teach me, say, this are four bar. This is an eight bar. You speak over the intro, allow space for the chorus drop. After the chorus, the verse, I go come in and you do him teach me that. Volcano L teach me that. So it was a learning process, this song. It was like a college, you understand what I said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just so like me and my dad. <laughs> when we are teaching to Yeah, man, but after that. In 2001, you went solo. How was the transition for you, leaving blacks and them? When I got solo, I never leave blacks. Me and blacks got solo together, but sometimes I hate after I say this public, but I will story, I have to say it. Pam Melody One, Melody One, Leroy Siblings, who won the song, but I felt I was not getting enough mileage from him being a legend. It's like him own the son, but him now see the vision for the son because he might do other things. You understand what I'm saying? So mm. here comes fully loaded. I am saying to him, I want to do fully loaded. He must say, When he am fully loaded, what that? I mean, I said, The big show up on the beach. And him asked me, Who keep it? I'm going to say, Sharon Burke. I'm so sure I'm back. Sure I'm back on people, man. Just tell us, I'm sorry. I said, no, you have to make the call. You know what I'm saying? Because I pressure him. Boom, he, he link Sharon. Sharon said, I'm for power. I said, me want to go around the car. I said, me for go talk to Sharon just so. And he said, yeah. Go around there, talk to Sharon. I did not know that Fully Loaded had 60 different sound systems on it. You may just say to your engine, 60. Wally from all over the world. So I'm going to check her and she said, we're on it. When the flyer come out, you have the big star them name, and then you have some medium-sized name, and then you have the small name them where you have to use magnifying glass and look on. Melody one was in the magnifying glass part. But I was so proud. I was so ready to unleash upon the world. Me never mind it. You understand what I'm saying? It, it never matter to me. Because me, I see the bigger picture. You understand? So Sharon Burke said, listen. You have to come at the show. You have to play 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock in the evening. I'm happy. I me, me say yes to everything. But there me had and lie down in my bed. And the inner spirit I said to me, say, at 6 o'clock, there will be nobody on the beach. But the sun... And the water and the sun. Go and go sleep. Mm. And we go sleep. Mm. And then the the, the, the the inner spirit wake me up about eight o'clock. See? And then you have a youth we used to connect cable. Come never have no car or nothing. You have a youth to connect cable up a up a cassava piece. But beg him to carry me. He carry me and Richie Strand and Sean Wang you. And we go over there, we reach over there after nine. And we reach over there, Sharon Burke cuss me dog. Right? Listening to MJ on my story, going. Sharon Burke cuss me dog. Right? So me late. Um, that's why we now go reach. She was pissed. So she said, me now play again. My brother, they must say, John, I joke this. Me shame, man. Me I say, yo, cut in there, you know. And they must say, no, I watch the show. So me stay there. Here comes Sharon Burke's assistant. A right hand person named Sophia. There was a point in the show, right? MJ, listen how blessings work. There was a point in the show where there was no selector. Mataran never reached it. Jazzy T, them never reached it. Mighty Crown, Black Chinese, none of the big names saw them never reached it. So them have dead ear and the crowd are get angry. So Sophia come to me and she say, she say, Puta, me I go risk my job. And put your hand on the stage. I said, yeah, I'm ready. She said, 
if they don't bust the place, I'm going to lose my job. I remember Sharon tell her I'm enough to play. So Sharon, I walk up and down and look for who she look for, matter and whosoever. So she said, You sure you're not going to feel me? I said, Put me on. No, she didn't even know what she had telling me. She put me up on the stage. Me destroy the whole stage as a nobody. Because remember, nobody in the crowd did not know me yet. Me destroy the beach. Gunshot, gun salute, everything where you can think of. When I come up on the stage, she chuck on me like me her husband. And tell me, say, my book for next year already. Sharon Burke hug me up, chuck on me, all kind of thing. Love, so me see of the show. So I was booked for the next year, the minute me come up on the stage. From them time till now, NJ, I've never turned back. Ever. That's the beginning of my worldwide dominance. Right there, sir. Whoa. It's all about taking the opportunity, man. Yeah, when it presents itself, you have to be ready. And the universe works in mysterious ways. Yeah. Yeah, so next question. Who gave you the name Futter Hype? And although I kind of know what it means already, but who gave you the name? All right. The name was given to me by the people. I am from the people for the people. That's why I said that all the time. So I'm from the people for the people. Um, I was given the name Futter Calabar. There was a youth named Futter before me. Me and him now get along. As a younger youth, me used to par with older people. I used to part Maki and Matty and Renaka them were in a fifth farm while I was in the eighth grade. I mean, I par with people from my age because I had done for a long time. So, this youth now named Futa have a problem with me. My friend, them want to beat him up, but them can't beat him up because I got unfair. So, if him friend them and my friend them decide, say, me and him are going to have a, a war off after school at the basketball court. So, them set the date for a fight. And no man can't hide from the fight, because if you hide from the fight, then you know you're a punk. So I hear I'll be the school mascot. So him big and taller than me. So my father used to sell jelly at the time and cane. So I have one of them look last when I always carry at school. I'm not promoting violence, but it's reality. So I have one of them last. One of them look jelly last them in my bag. We, we meet up at the basketball court. The boy have an ice brick, a long ice brick, so. So me over the side there. At the basketball court, and him and him friend them over the side there. And the man them said, Yo, time now. War. So the, the me start walk towards the middle of the court, right? And hey, listen, this is no joke, right? Me start walk towards the middle of the court, right? And him start walk towards the middle of the court. But my step them, me I calculate the step because I'm very good for body language, you know. So me I read body language and me a step stronger than him and a step faster than him. And the more me a step and I move towards the center of the court, he a step slow. Him face look serious and him have him eyes speaking him and but him step them I tell me same card. Remember me have a level of fear too, you know. But me decide say one away after go dead because me now be the school mascot and me now be the punk. Me come from Cassava Peace. Him come from Mr. Jackson or somewhere. The address no match up. You're not going to beat me today. So, the more me step to the court, the middle of the court, and the more him a, him a, him a, him a step slower. You understand what I'm saying, NJ? So, me a, a get, gain from him. So, me realize so I'm really coward. So, me just pull out my last out of my bag and start running him down now. So, him start run. So, me a run him down around the school till me tired. Him run gone by business. We not even get for fight. So, <laughs> NJ alarm. So, I guess I'm get the name put up from now. So, them say, because he was defeated, me after getting name, NJ. <laughs> Yo, so, me get the name, me get the name put up from a fight. It wasn't even a fight because him covered out and run. Zin? So, the whole of the bigger youth, them, the fifth farmer, them both feed him, friend them, and my friend them decide to me name footer now, and him can't come on the ends. After school, him can't chill, yes, sir. 
him can't par with none away. So me end up now about 20 all of you than me as my soldier them cause them love me now. Cause I'm brave and I'm bad. So I me and them apart. Nobody can ramp with me, nobody can chat to me. So that's how the name come. Nobody in my community never know my name Futa. Cause them Oh me that me they'll tell you how the name transitions to. But uh, if you want. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here how the name transition now. Me is a youth to deal with loyalty uh. NJ. So me have some youth. As I get a youth, Calabar me have some uptown friend. If maybe you don't know Kansas Spring, but Kansas Spring, you can drive from the gully and cut out the traffic and reach right at Gallons Hill Road. So when the traffic was heavy in the morning, them youth away I got Calabar that drive from the gully bank. So them have to drive right past my gate. Them name Simpson. So them father used to work, I think, at LaSalle's laboratories. And him have a Mr. Bishi Lancer that I miss Mr. Bishi Lancer tough care. So they used to pick me up a morning time and drop me at school because he knew them I got the same school, so we become friends. You know, one day I'm at school and the man them just come with about 10 men. I said, me teeth them John Sport bag. So me I look on him and say, you would, me, me would have never teeth your bag. The way me glad say only drop me at school a morning time. The way my mother proud so me have some good friend and some decent friend. The man them decide to say, me teeth it. Somebody tell him say, me teeth it. So when me I go home, them correl me. Out of the, the front of Calabar, there's a, but there's a bus stop right there. So me now, me and women have left my last already. Them have lock tool, them have golf stick, them have everything. The youth, big brother, drive him, go idle. Them surround me. So me have my last all off everybody. Me have to spin every minute, because I don't want nobody to rush me. And, and you know what? Lick me with a log tool or nothing, so yeah, every minute me they, as one of them. Brother, who are they? Who are they? I feel like they forgot their ninja eye after that, you know. <laughs> no. These are all my, these are all cassava piece people are gonna know some name footer because they don't know my school name. So when me see them, I saw around me one bus pull up. So me, I count half the people and I come off of the bus and I count too much people I go up on the bus. So when the last person I go up the, the step of the bus, I rush the boy went in front of me the last one. Them go so whoop and clear the way. I jump over the little wall, running at the bus and say, drive and drive them out, kill me, drive. See? So the driver look and see them and drive off. Them have care though. School youth them, but them have care. So them jumping at them car, them have drive, like them have drive to catch up the bus. Anyway, the driver not stop none at all. Be a people miss them stop. Come here, say them are going to kill me. Don't stop them, are going to kill me. And they let me off. A midway mile, so I start run. You see, me, me big body now, me the bigger them time there. So I run, me a run, cause cause have a piece of right up there. So me just want them near my place. So me a run and me a run. And when I see the car turn a midway mile and a forward, now me a run. When I reach close to cause I have me get tired, <sighs> start to start take breath. Them stop now and come out of the car. So when them come out of the car, I run off again now. I reach right at the barber shop. So I stop run. So you have Miss Ivan cross the gully, cause the gully part, the main road and cassava piece. So she see, say, they might run me down. So be a crowd, come down and be a people. But my turn, this now, I stop run. So everybody come over, say, one of the, you can't do any, be excitement. And some of the bad man, they're in my place now, step out and say, what one do. Ray, 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 and them. So when they go back to them, can you hear them, is all right, footer, you got dead. We must hold your boy, footer, you can't come back to school. So that's how the people in my ear know some name Futa now. So when them gone, the same bad man them will come defend me. I cared me. I said, Futa, you got dead. You can't go back and call about the man who beat the killer. So the name spread in the whole area. Then, when me play music, is a different person. So to all me appear on the place and I lock down the whole community, them add hype to it. So I saw my name Futa hype. And I mean, create the name of people, give me the two names them. That's all the name come about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 you know, all Jamaicans be, you know. And, you know, Jamaicans be, if boy, um, some boy like eat ice cream, them call him creamy. Right. <laughs> Me didn't think because you had big foot, them call you footer. No, but remember, say, he fit the criteria too, but he's really the nigga name me take away. Because them I know about the name to me because I'm lose the fight. But he put the big two in him. So it is just perfect. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so it's like him get the throne and me get the throne. You know what uh, I mean? Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Carry on now. 
Yeah, so that's how I got the name as a selector because footer hype because we were so dominant, right? In our area. That is how we are going to know boom boom now. Then, because we so dominant in our area, our area PNP. Boom boom come from Grand Spend, which is labor right, right? So we are the top zone in our part. Boom boom them are the top zone in a freedom part, right? So Volcano from Melody One come from a place named Morgan Lane. Right? I don't know if you ever hear I don't talk about this man from Irving and Morgan Lane. That's the area I'm a talk about and a grand spin. When we go around them set up a clash between a son named Star Success and we. So oh. that a that a freedom yard now, you know. So we go around there, cut long story short, I don't want to take up too much time. We murder them in them yard. See? At the time, and Japan are run up a boom boom them part as the labor right done. Wash your paper around Morgan Lane as the PNP done. The two of them made a piece, so the two of them made a lane together. When we done kill a son there, Andrew Pong said, You kill the PNP son of them yard, you have to come over the labor rights son. So the labor rights son was boom boom with a youth named Willie Damage. That time, Harry Hype wasn't boom boom selector yet. Harry Hype did play music merchant and I play a run robin and them thing, the whole it's party. So we got clash them. When we go clash them, the dance done abruptly. I don't think the dance did even start. Them kill man and the dance never bother keep. With the clash again, them kill man two days before. Craig Sarge keep the clash. It's not going. So them keep the clash of Cassava Peace now. One lady named Miss Dell, big labor right now, Cassava Peace. Keep the dance. Invader, Melody One. And Japan, by this time, dead. That had it done, you know. Dead enough. Remember the big song. Big up everywhere from the present to the past. How you know them fight for your cars? Remember Andrew Pang name in that. I was the hottest song on the planet at the time. So that I got work against me already, you know. See? The woman where I keep the dance I live alright, that I work against me already, you know. The only thing I work in my favor, I say it I keep in my town. Dance start. I prepare before doing an NJ because I'm a smart person. The only reason why I'm in a clash now is because many artists them not get along because they don't like the truth. So I just love clash it. I know say, boom boom, they're going to come with big up every warrior from the present to the past. That's going to be one of their main pick. So what me do now, you have a youth named Otis in our era where I chop some era song. I carry my jar of studio and I write a song and they write some piece with him too. A tribute to Andrew Pang, but nobody knows I have this. You understand me as an NJ? Nobody knows me have that song. So, the woman where I keep the dance, right? She have a nephew who cook food from the corner where the dance I keep. You hear me, NJ? NJ, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like you're fall asleep, NJ. No, man, no, man. No, man. <laughs> so, so, what's this now? The woman where I keep the dance. Track me, you know. Hey, tapping us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love MJ. Yeah. So, yeah. The, man, the woman that keeps the dance of her nephew, when he took her, he cook outside the, out of the land where the dance are keep. So, I carry him, go vice him. That I massive be have a rhythm. I say, we born to kill her. I say, me fight fire with fire. That them require. I'm mean, it around the place. I got caught. Tuku, Panda rhythm there. So, you see, when me see Boom Boom, them I pull up at the dance, me see one dump a truck, brother, full of people. Me see van, me see bus, me see bicycle, me see car, and the whole of Grand Spain move. Come around there. You know what the woman do? Because she a labor right? She let in everybody from Grand Spain. You know? And then, our people, they may even live here after you appear. So my fan base trickle down compared to them. Members of them general just drop out and the song. Yeah. Yes, when Boom Boom play the round, when play, big up everywhere from the present to the past, yes. me hear gunshot till me ears ring. The song play about 25 times. See? The man get forward till come like no forward and no left. Everybody a chimble. I wonder where me I go play. Zin, everybody I wonder where me I go play.
So I say, all right. But me have, me have this, this custom thing when me make, but nobody knows. So when me, my time to play now, I make the forward them cool down and everything. I stand up on the crate. All when my time to play, boom, boom, them still a celebrate. Them act like the dance. Done. I me just calm them down and say, everything good. I me say, oh, who if you come from Grand Spain and disrespect and Japan? So everybody, I look like, what am I talking about? We just play the anthem for and Japan. So I say, boom, boom. Big man thing, you should have shame. And and Japan should have pies near when he used to feed you. Because you can't come a big clash, come play 45 in representing Uno Dan. That is a disgrace. I'm going to say, I'm press play for my, my, my double me cut special. I'm going to say, I'm going to write it. I'm going to say, um, um, so Andrew Panga done from day one, he never do nothing more wrong. Take care of poor people, buy them house and land, give them care and fun, bed for sleep and bag of something. Crazy lyrics. But the DJ delivered it so wicked that we have the one drop, drop out next month. That play about 700 times, MJ. The way, the way me do the dance with, me use two songs and this try, boom, boom, them. Two, two double play. The first one that we play on Rice and Peas, the anthem, anthem for Anjapan, play for like 700 times. Fight broke. Mm -hmm. Fight broke. Because boom, boom, boss now, which is Janjad, Name soul rest in peace. Come round our son. I try intimidate me. And tell me go suck my mother. So I stop it tune and say, John J got your mother. So he's a respectable Rasta man from round there. So you know, feed them friend them now. So him to tell John Jed about his mother. But John Jed told tell me about my mother. I try intimidate me. I me not take no intimidation. Me run them way again and drop the song again. Tear down the place again. So remember me tell her, say. Remember me, remember me tell the MJ, say, the promoter lady, nephew, is an artist. But boom, boom, they don't know that. So me devised him for a massive B rhythm. So when me drop people, because remember after me use the Anjapan anthem, tear down the whole place for how long me I played. Now me play this. And the song when I don't have no English in it. He have a fine voice, like a falsetto voice. So he sing like a Chinese man. Pan a dance all beat. But the whole era know the song. So when me play that next, he's the next half hour I'm going play that one. And him run left him stall out of the doorway, my boy porridge and dumpling and come in. So it's now, yes, yeah, so and now, me and Boom Boom, <laughs> only give him some water there. <laughs> me and Boom Boom kind of become nemesis at that time. You understand me as an NJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me living in a one era, me living in a one era. So them now live with that, you know. So them set up. Boom Boom set me up to try to kill me more than one time in a clash, you know. When I know what's a clash, you know. I'm going to go and I'm still never winning, you know. I go unprepared. I go to shot at 9 night. I just go with a, with a handful of record and like two dub plates. Yeah, hear me, MJ? When I reach at the dance, yeah. I'm playing my first round. I just hear Boom Boom say, eh. Remember me, I have unfinished business, you know, brother. Remember, say, you are dead tonight, you know. So we are talking about oh, a 9 night, I come. When we look, we see and them, them bring out um, trophy. Them bring out trophy, you know. Clash trophy, you know. So the winner get the trophy, you know. All of them can't decide the winner. The trophy still around there. I only have two dub plates and a handful of records. That's how. So you are more have to clash again. <laughs> well, me, me not know. Me not think we can clash boom boom now. Because uh, the relationship with me and the artist, them. Because your clash thing going now, NJ, is a vision. When you envision a song and a certain type of way to cut it, if you can't get it, then it, it no work. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I don't really do clash. I do, I do a clash with fun already. And me and Matara and BS ADC, Star Kid, the unit sound. Puff that the clash are half a tree. And I'm here magic go finals. Me kill everything. I mean I really have no catalog of dub like that. I me kill everything. 
if Mataran wish to talk the truth and me make him reach so far, can me tell him, say, you would. At this, we are going to do and make the two tone man them reach final. Ask him if you think I like me. I tell. And me say, Mataran, do this and do that. And law me, make me kill everything. I me kill everything till me and Mataran reach finals. And because him have the big catalog, him, him, him play, you know, tune for tune, him play a bigger song than me and win. And me tell him what to do for we go final. Ask him if he wish to talk the truth. Mm. My mm. wicked pan clash MJ. Yeah man, wicked yeah man, me I me I go off to get Mataran and Mataran on the show next week because all of this star story could have add up and him could have tell me the same star story too. Yeah man, tell him, ask him, ask him say put us there at the puff that the clash. I him advise you what to do to make you and him reach at the finals, which did happen. It, it got same as what me tell him. Based as he said they can get mm. send one. I me send them home. I me send them star kid. I me send them on D unit. I me clear the way. I two me not have the artillery. Make me not clash and kill everything. None of them no bother me. Mm. Me I tell mm. Mm. So, I have a question. Why selecting and not DJing? Because I heard you got good lyrics. Honestly, I don't think it's my calling. I don't feel that in a connection with being an artist as how I feel it with playing music and dialoguing. You understand what I'm saying? Because you yeah. got to feel it. It's got to come from within. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so you wear the cap of selector DJ producer mm -hmm. but which one is your favorite my favorite is being a selector first then a promoter because i am also a huge promoter in the game Ooh. Ooh. Keep, keep you can book me for one of the party them of course if i can have if i can afford you <laughs> of course you can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that is very possible, my friend. Very possible. Come respect you. I do respect you. Give thanks for that man. And I respect Thank you me. as well. Cause at this week myself at this year, myself gonna be my touring year. So me I go go like not just Jamaica, like me I plan to go Canada, America, Belize. All over. Also, the world I go kind of see if we can go a little, say, a few countries in Europe because Europe is big. Yeah, the world is yours. It's limitless. You are here for a reason. God chose you for a reason. You hear them say a child shall lead the way. A you, mm -hmm. them attack. True. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, apart from coming on social media to reason with the fan them the fan them what mm. is your favorite thing you like to do in your spare time okay for me O'Neill is different from photo hype in my regular day-to-day -day life I like to go to movies I like to go on dates um so that's what I do in my spare time I go to movies I go on dates, uh, um, watch some NBA games. Those are the things I do in my spare time. I go karaoke sometimes, like I go on a moment, go watch karaoke sometimes on a Thursday, just then I can and go and enjoy people, I sing half key and I do be a fool in it. And then I just go home. Mm. So I have a question for Futa Hype. Uh, is mm -hmm. Futa Hype really a sports person? Honestly, I used to play basketball. That's it. Um, at oh. one point, I was playing soccer, but I never liked it. Me, me did that, try the tracks one time when me younger, when me younger, younger, younger. I me in a race. The only time it looked like me I go win a race, me start over speed and drop. and lose the race. Oh, I no. swear. Oh, no. And from this, I me say, you know what? Me done with this. Because the one day they get a race, me I go win. All the time, me a forward, second or third or fourth. 
And the one race where I show me in front. Me end up see me in front now and start run too fast. And drop. Uh. Chip out the wall on my side and my shoulder and I say, no, I'm not into this. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, last, so... I, 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 I managed to do um, track and field, but um, it was a long time ago when I, like, um, when I was younger. And I remember, and I remember I was in um, a pink shirt when I did that track and field. And then I, I, I remember I came third place in that one. So, yeah. I gave up from there yeah. too. Right there, so I give up. But you are not NJ. Why may I have to come in here father, all right? It makes no sense sending your kid to school to study for something that he's never going to use. It's time wasted. If I had invested my time learning auto, electrical, doing waitering work, there are so many titles of jobs that I've done that did not help me and is not helping me and I never use them. That's a waste of time. Parents, I'm urging you, Pay attention to your kids and see what they really love and turn it into profit. So you see, like, yeah, oh, you're yeah. going to be so advanced now, NJ, because you're just nine. By the time you're 18, you will be a well-rounded. Your library in your head with music I got so big. If my parents did have sent me to music school, go learn off a record, go learn off of this, would I be an engineer in a project, would I have to pay, would I have to pay people to mix and then something them would I be so advanced. But we used to do art electrical I learned to fix alternator and start on them something they're marvelly. And then me I work at Jade Garden at the waiter in America, thermoplastic at the waste of time. One of the time we had the carpenter mm -hmm. work back at cassava piece with with chunky and you know, and you, Go and ahead. you know, oh, you said, uh, well, and you know, oh, you said, when I'm 18, and you know, that's just around the corner, it's just around the corner because right. time I run fast. And if you yeah. waste your time doing something you're not gonna like in the future, then it's just gonna mess you up because all this time you've been learning something that you don't like, exactly. And then, in the future, you don't really do it. Yeah, you don't do it at all. So it's a waste of time, waste of energy, and waste of your parents' money. That's the most important part. Because your parents are going to buy these subjects, pay for these tutoring, pay for these extra lessons for nothing. Well, you could have learned to play a keyboard. You could have learned to play a guitar. You could have learned to mix like Delana, them or DJ Kelly. You could have learned all the drum machine work, all the turntable. You could have become one with all of these things. In all those years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. a key thing for parents to learn. And parents must not force you to live for them dream. Like, my love, my pity them. But I see none of them business about selecting. Usha not interested. Ian not interested. Biggs not interested. I can't force them. Me, me tell them all the time, so think what I want to do from now. So we can get a 10-year start before you become an adult. So you can actually have money before you become an adult because you have a father We can put on a thing to start your business. So then you can save. So by the time you reach 2021, 20, 25, you already have a piece of food. So you can expand your business. You understand me? Yeah, and also, um, my other passion is football for um, those who Soccer. don't know. And yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're good and at it? also, people, I have, um, so for those who don't know, I was selected for my school team the other day, so I'm very proud of myself. Oh, you're selected your school, fed? Yeah, school See? team. Oh, you get all like, you get all like girl, them in jail. Cheer the day of the day. Oh, you're the girl, 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 you're yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Jack yeah, Gallis, I'm proud of your kid, man. I like. And also, it's hard to get into the. It's hard to get into that team, you know. Cause guess what? It's only two year fours that made it into that team, you know. Only two year fours. And I was one of them. Amazing, amazing. I want to also comment some people, right? I want to comment Ari Tadla first. I want to comment, be um, Bounty Killer. 
to give you the strength. Toddler, the first person, me see, will give you the strength. And then, me see, bounty killer, forward and board, and give you the strength. Plus, others, General B, you know, Tyrus Riley. Let me Riley. tell you something about Tyrus Riley. You know, it, 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 Tyrus Riley him really reached out to me. People, for those who don't know, Tyrus Riley, him called me and said, MJ, me could go down about Bart Fountain, and then it would go on under there. And what at the time when we were there about Bart Fountain? Him, him get the pipe, yeah? Him push it in at the, um, hole in at the, like, side of the, you know. The rock. The rock. The rock. Yeah. So him push it in to the side. And then, me, me know the, the, the water did act. So me, so me free to go down there, you know. Me free <laughs> to go in at the hot water. You know what, I'm going up my back. And Tyrus and bring me, even Tyrus and bring me in at him out. So me have to big up to Tyrus Riley. Tyrus Riley, big up yourself. Yeah, man, General. big up all of the people them from Boombox, eh? Give the strength and because you know they are foreign sometimes we're bored and them something they were watch and me see your your you following a grew and I thought you posted a bounty killer video one time and people attacked me in it and you know it just got viral and my likes so of them never shown you or yeah you are a little boy you know you see me they, they yeah. gave you the strength and me respect that that was a, few, that that was, that was a little few comments but you know yeah, we're not nah, paid that man. Them. them are the haters, then. Them are the bad man. Yeah, some people don't have vision, MJ. You have to always remember, people with vision are going to be ridiculed as crazy because what you are seeing from your inner spirit cannot be seen by the audience. It's only between you and the Almighty. So nobody's going to understand when you are projecting something. That's why me end up bust so much people, you know. And put so much people forward because me can see vision. Me have a telescopic vision with, with a long reach. So that's why Futa can stay as a reason and can tell us so much people when we plunge into wealth and richness because I'm a vision. Yeah, man. But you see, you see, me feel, you, you know, you say, you, you bust some people, you know, because, listen, no. So that some people when I'm they know um uh, and the the people before them they were a place where them they know me 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 they did it with them some people some people in the music industry for example like some new artists right now who are like mm -hmm. go go up right. and me did they did it with them first me interview some of them so before them go up so yeah man yeah I'm proud and you yeah, i i am i am one who me take serious into putting out new product like me always because i saw me growing at the game me always want to present a product me can see talent and she say that talent here can be the biggest thing and that person here can reach and help them family out of me putting them forward. And I've done that so many times. Because me born with a vision. God bless me with a gift of vision. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, let's get to the last question. Because, you know, my so we have two questions um, left. So, in, so what's your words of encouragement to the upcoming the young artists who wanna the artists DJs or uh, DJs um like myself as well um what's your advice to them my advice to them is do not lie to yourself if you are not gifted with music don't think about the money part of it and force yourself into it if you don't love it from the art, do not get into it. Secondly, I want to tell them, when you're entering the realm of reggae and dancehall, understand the responsibilities that come with it morally. Not how much money comes from it because we have the richest industry. 
We have the biggest industry. We sell the most records. We do everything. They've been lying to us. We have the biggest music. If you watch the Peter Tash interview, it tells you that when his song was released, the first day it sold 45,000 copies sell off and they didn't print anymore. So we have been lied to and have been sabotaged forever. And now, if you don't understand what our music stands for, leave it alone. We are the light of the world where righteousness is concerned and where certain moral standards are represented. If you are going to come in the game and don't respect that, leave it alone because I will not stand here and let you destroy the blessing that God gave to us. I am going to oppose you and I am going to war you. I am going to fight you until my last breath if you are trying to mash it up. And there are a lot of people out there like me who are going to do the same thing. So please first understand the trade before you want to be a master of the trade. Sorry, sorry. Daddy, why you are distracted? We are interview someone big. <laughs> hey, look at brother that. Uh, this time at daddy. Uh, <laughs> daddy, you're not holding the rims, you know. Hold the rims. <laughs> you're my boss. Okay, okay. Next question, guys. We have someone else to interview. Uh, All right. Okay, so can you do you have anyone to shout out? I want to shout out every single person who has ever supported me financially. Whether you buy badges, whether you book me for your party, whether you, you, you donate to me cash up or you donate to me Zell, whether you pay come out and party with me, book for, meaning you never directly give me the money. But I was on the party, and your peer got the party because put your eyes upon it. I appreciate you. My kids survive because of you. My family is okay because of you. I wear nice clothes because of you. I drive nice cars because of you. I find food because of you. I take care of my girlfriend because of you. I appreciate everybody who appreciates me. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. Daddy! <laughs> Yo, daddy, you're not a billionaire. <laughs> daddy, you're not a billionaire, daddy. <laughs> First, you have to say, give God thanks to life. And, you know, happy New Year's to you and your family, brother. And give no, thanks. Me, 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 say, me, say, me say happy 23 because my New Year's Day is my birthday. So, okay. Me say happy, so happy 23rd to you and your family. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. thanks to forward and, 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 you know, give him the strength as well. And um, like as your point out earlier on, um, you know, no respect to the other artists, them and, you know, who in the music industry world. So give him the strength. You know, that part kind of, kind of touched me when me hear you. Big up them general, the general, them who, as well yep. reach out and, and you know what I mean because yeah. you know sometimes acknowledgement is good no you everybody is mean? a thing is a thing where we need to start normalize even if you have and, somebody and, and, don't talk you have to honor yeah. the great works for them do and give them them respect and as me earlier said not because of my own but in the music I feel me I don't know you see me and it take, it take a that, village to grow a child you know? And me that me, me 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 happy when the general them reach out, especially to the type of music that him cling to, as you see it and you said earlier on. You understand? Uh -huh. Because he's actually pushing the game to a level whereby his generation to come gonna still hear a certain music that we don't really want to leave the system. And so, that's very important. You not even know how important that is. Very and not important. just him, but me the like the artist, the man, you know, the the the, the foundation them in the business to go around and look for the talented kids them in the music world who are do some of our MGA do and and I like them as well because often time me hear people are cuss about where the music gone to re 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 blah blah, but then them now go and look for the the, the young ones them like in our football club now they start groom these kids from like eight year old. When they see the Barcelona and the Manchester United, 
they train them up from young. Sometimes they even go and buy them very young. You know what I mean? So, so you know, the business keep going strong. So, you know, the music business is good to go and look for these talent because there's not much of them out there like MJ. Because I said, no, since MJ come out, I see a whole heap of kid. And some of the music when they might play, sometimes me as a parent check and like, like seriously. But when I go there, so my uncle I said, go and search for the talent them if you want the business to carry on. Yeah, that's the message, General. Enough that's respect, look at it. Enough, enough respect to invite me on the platform because NJ is basically introducing me to his nine year old audience. And I appreciate that because me not look my age, I mean I not want audience who are hungry my age. So give thanks, NJ, and you know, enough love and respect. Yeah, man, Futa, give thanks. See, mommy, mommy, mommy do the work. And... <laughs> no, man, a powerful youth, man. You have to take care of him, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, son, yeah, you know, can you know, yeah, I can prepare come, myself. I go prepare yeah, myself because yeah. I have IRA feminine and few from this. Yeah, man, and once me, again, me have brother. have the bugs figured out. Enough respect. Big up the yes, whole of England. I soon get my wings. Them are this morning. Roddy IRA call me and I tell me, so the amount of people want to book me right now in stress out. Because in them I call. Yeah, just them want to bring me an Africa beer. But nothing will happen before the time. You know, please, just wait. I now fade out. I dare to see me. At the viral <laughs> God. You see me, so... Big up on yourself, enough love, enough respect. One dancer, see of the music. Yeah, awesome. Love, and yeah, man, love. You know, you uh, I, I don't, I know, I've, I've seen a lot of videos um of you in um yeah, in you know like how you're like talking uh, in the car. Maybe one day you, um you you could like uh, uh when I'm on the live probably. You could answer one of my requests and then we'll have a little talk again. All right, my boss. Anything you say, man. Anything yeah, you man. say, man. Respect. Bless up. Enough love. Be Don't respect. know.